Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing on this lovely, lovely morning? My beautiful, lovely Pisces, how are you doing? God bless you, Pisces. If you're here as well as I am, you know we woke up. So that's what matters, that we woke up. Everything else will fall in place. Okay, thank you. Thank you for all those who like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who donate and get private readings. Thank you for all those who go onto my webpage and purchase my Black Magic Spell Breaker Candle. This is good for breaking sp uh, spells and also for anything that you feel like is not right in your life. And I don't know what that can be. That can be many things. Abundant prosperity, healing, growth, wealth, fertility, and nature. Yes. Love yourself candle. And if you go on my website, you see all the other candles. But these are the candles that I use on my platform, on my altar. This is the Justice Candle Sweet Justice. That's right. Uh, Nicole, Sweet Justice. This is the um, Sage and Apollo Santo that you get. This is the walnut. This is my oils that come in dry form. You can put this in anything you want. These are my jewelry, which I wear on my arms, on my wrists, on my neck. That's right. All protection jewelry. That's right. These are my crystals with my um stones, okay? And crystals are good for every part of your body and every well-being that you're going through in your life. And I don't care what it is, what the doctors say. There's a crystal for everything, pain, suffering, insomnia, anxiety, all kinds of stuff. Look it up, baby. You got that. Okay, this is a spiritual detox salt bath, and this is what I'm known for. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it's not Epsom salt. Like I said, it's cave salt. I also got herb in the bag. If you don't have a tub, you can still take your spiritual baths, Okay. I also have the um, red brick dust, okay, and that is good for protection. And let me tell you something, anything that you do in any, any whether it's a candle, whether it's um, Palo Santo, whether it's sage, whether it's protection, red brick dust, whether, whatever it is, whatever it is that you use and you get into your rituals, <clears throat> I do rituals every day. <clears throat> Remember one thing. That you just can't walk around the house and light up a, a sage and that's it. You must tell the universe, your spiritual, what are you doing with this? What do you want it to do for you? Okay? Um, nothing works magic if it ain't in you. All right? Everything you do, you got to do. You got to wake up. You got to walk to the bathroom. You got to pull your clothes down or whatever. Use the bathroom. You got to, whatever it is you must do to get to what you need to do. And that's spirituality. You do the same thing. Spirituality just doesn't work. Some of y'all go to church. Don't you got to get the, don't you got to get dressed and do everything. Get yourself in the church. Sit down and listen to all the crap that they telling you. And they just a sinner just like you and I are. Okay, now I don't tell people what to do, but you do what you want to do. If that's what you feel like, you know, shoot, I got a sister that she goes from church to church. She be like, she ain't never seen her. She told me I'd be politics in church and they tell you how much to give them. And if you don't, you know what happened? It's, it, yeah, that's what church do. I pray for all those that live in California and anywhere that's hitting them storms or them. Um, Hawaii, whatever, wherever you are at, you, wherever, and I don't care where, whether it's a storm or whether you just need help, I pray for you, okay? All right, so let's get down with the reading, Pisces. I love you all. You know I do, all right? Let's get down with the reading. Let's see what this reading is going to be about. I'm going to pull one of these cards so that it can tell me what it's going to be about. All right, here we go. All right. Flowers, 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 flowers. Someone's getting some flowers. Someone receiving flowers. Maybe you bought yourself some flowers. All right. 
So, uh, flowers mean many things, many, you know, promotions, uh, moving on, number six, okay, um, and, it, and and that's crazy because it got six flowers on it, but um, Pisces, you deserve flowers, get your flowers while you're alive, that's when you get your flowers while you're alive. All right, people want to take flowers to funerals. Get it while you are alive. All right, celebrate birth while you here. All right, all right, Joan R. R. Michael, please help me do this reading in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let's see what my lovely Pisces is doing here. To some of the pinnacles, Pisces, you're sitting there with bags of money, honey, sitting there like. What's going on, my lovely Pisces? Seven of Pentacles. All right, let's move on. Let's see what else we get here. What's going on? All right, the Queen of Wands. Seven of Pentacles, getting that money right. Seeing um, you got all your money. You know, you got all the money in the bag. You done seen the fruits of your labor, okay? You done seen what you worked on. Um, but both, on both the Queen of, of Wands is that Beyonce, the one that works, I work hard for my money, boo boo oh, hard for my money, boo boo okay? So, not only that, what, what you got planned here, what is your plans, what is your next move? Somebody's thinking like, shit, I need to go somewhere where I'm going to make that money. You know, I need some money, I need to get myself together, I need to move forward, all right, but sitting there full of a desire, ready to light that fire, and it ain't nothing like lighting fire, because when you light fire, that means you are creating, you're doing something, you're ready to pop off, all right, you're making moves, tell me more about this queen of wands, why are you here, you got the three of pentacles, making a plan, ready to move forward, okay, like, Okay, we're going from this to that, to that, to that. It's like, look at this. You got a gun. You got, it's like a mafia style thing. It's like somebody even got gloves on, okay? Like, um, I don't know. This To me, it's like somebody's ready to make a plan. Somebody's ready to work together. Somebody wants, a, 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 you making a plan to move forward. Maybe you got people helping you. Maybe you, you have people that want to help you, okay? Move forward. With that, um, three of pentacles fell out the king of uh, wands. That's a couple here. Someone, someone here, um, you know, it's like you make it. Okay, I need to make this move. I need to do this. Okay, I need to make moves in my life. All right. I, I know that I've done this, but I'm ready to do more. All right. I know I have this, but I, I want to go on and do more. So, I want to, just like a Beyonce, I'm a singer, but now where's the next tour I'm going to? Where's the next, um, you know, show we're going to? I need to continue to make money, all right? I need to continue to move my brand, all right? Okay, so I got people working for me. I got people making sure that um, her mother, whoever, making plans, moving from this to that, from that to that. You know, her schedule's booked. She making sure that her schedule's booked. Cause she has money coming in. Um, she got a group of people working for her. Or you're working for people. You're working together. Together we can move on. Together we can do stuff. You got this king of wands, you and this person, making the next move, doing something. You got, or you can be with somebody here that's ready to make moves. Like you doing something. You're making a plan on doing something. Working together at something. Okay? Building something. Creating something. All right? Moving forward. Um, a lot of y'all Pisces, um, a lot of y'all are in a place in your life where things are moving, but it can be moving in many different ways. Moving as in moving, like maybe you need to get a uh, move to a new job or moving to a new place or, you know, just, uh, traveling. Okay. Um, feeling like it's ready. I'm ready to take this challenge to move. 
Like it's a plan that you got in your mind and you're about to execute that plan. And can't nobody stop you from executing the plan. We are in retrograde. We are moving on. It's getting ready to be the full moon next week. We are in that pre uh, full moon. Like you're feeling this, you know. You're seeing things. You 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 know, you know that something here is telling you you got to move forward, right? Especially if you got that third eye open. It's telling you it's time to make moves, right? Um, the journey in the pinnacles has uh, reached a position beyond her dreams. She is comfortable and satisfied. She has um, quite wealth, okay? C accumulated wealth and She's done it in her own way, all right? So she has something going on in her own way. And remember, that's that Beyonce. She may be she may be the dog from the three, okay? A pinnacles. Get in a way with the, okay, so the Three of Pentacles, so that's the Seven of Pentacles. So this, when I get to this book, I wish I could just get it right, but I can't see the writing. The writing is too, too small for me. Oh, I wish I could because I can move on. But, okay, so this, uh, okay, so let me, let's just, let's just do this because I got, I want to do this, but I wanted to learn that book, but. I need a big microscope to even see it because I can't see nothing on the book. But let's move on to this book that, uh, you know, I always like to read what they saying about it. So the Seven of Pentacles in, in, the, in the meaning is when you are elevating, okay, when you are reviewing long-term progress, it's time to review your plans and progress. Take a look at how far you come and what options are available for improvement in your life. Try not to be overwhelmed by the results, but use them as an advantage to level up. All right? So that's the seven of pinnacles, right? So then you got the queen bee in the middle. The queen bee is the one that has it all. Like Beyonce. Okay, so she has enough, but she's looking to see how far she comes. And now what is next? What can I do next? Right? So it's a good thing because she's looking at it like, what am I going to do next with my life? So the queen of pentacles, right, uh, influence a leader. Okay. Um very social, social butterfly. Very creative, very cheerful. Her intentions are guided by passion and creativity. She is cheerful and um confident. Some may uh, even say she is a natural born leader, right? Because she is a mass task. She is bound to have many talents and point of view. So it's like you are looking at how far you come, how much you've done. And now you're doing more than one thing. You're trying to do more than one thing, but you want to move. It seems like you're elevating yourself, and it's time to move. It's time to say bye to the old and hello to the new. And it's ready to make, what's the next plan? Like, what is now? What do I got to do now? I'm here, but now I'm ready to do this. All right? Like, people love you. There's a plan here because you got the... Three of Pentacles, that means working together to move forward. 
I mean, working together in a team, working together at work, working together in a, in a project, working together to move forward, right? And that's what you're doing, working together, all right? Um, cooperating with other people, uh, teamwork, responsibility, all right? You the one pointing things out, like do this, do that, and we got to do this, we got to do that, right? Um, the project requires working together with other people, all right? You may, uh, you and other people, each with different skills to come together with the same vision to build a strong foundation for the project, right? Follow a plan. There is still work that needs to be done, not the end result. So you still got things to do. This ain't the ending to what you got to do. You're moving up. You elevated yourself. All right. You cannot be afraid to move forward. Believe me, Pisces, do not stay where you feel like this is it. Where you know it's so much more options opportunities but you got to go for it right it's like you never know what is out there waiting for you but if you feel like okay I did good here and I finished this and I know I did but now it's time for me to move forward even though I know I've done good here I did a good job now it's time for me to elevate myself and move forward you got the personality to do whatever you want Pisces People love you. Anything you do, you give it a hundred and some percent. All right? So, I feel like you really, really are doing good things. It says the three of pinnacles require teamwork. Each person has his own important role to play. Your skills alone is good, but better than cooperate with others. So, that means that you got to work with others. Stand in your own position on the team Take responsibility on your part. There is more short shortcuts to finish results. It's okay, action, working together and communicating can be a pave to a long path. And I'm going to say something to you. Don't ever take shortcuts. Do you understand? If you're going to do a project, make it right. Do you understand? You don't take shortcuts. If I don't have what it takes to make something for you and be on my top of my... I got to make sure I have everything that I need has to be top name for you. My oils. My own wax. Okay? My wick, the glass that I'm going to use, it's got to be right. Don't you ever take a shortcut. Do you understand? You don't cheat people. All right? And I always say that when I'm in the store. And the price say this, 18 cents for a big old bag of strawberries. I mean, cherries. I look at the lady. I say, is this the wrong price? 18 cents went to $11. She said, you still want it? You know why? Because if I cheat them, the store, I'm stealing from the store. And, it, and it's not good for me because God will come back. So don't ever take shortcuts on anything you do. Nothing in life need to be shortcut. Because God will always make a way for you. So whatever project you're doing, whatever you're working on, whatever next move that you're making, I don't care what it is. Give it your all. Give your points of view, all right? Because I've been looking at the past reading and say you can't work with people. People fighting, all, but now it says you're working with somebody. You got your, you know, you you put your, your two cents in and they put their two cents in. We can work this out. It's between two people. We can work this out. Both of y'all are natural born leaders. Both of y'all are full of fire. Things can work out, all right? We can make, we, and I'm telling you, listen to me. It got money and creativity. Money and creativity. I'm going to say something to you. 
I had someone come to a party, a cookout at my house, and they told me, I want to have my birthday party there. Can you rent it for me? And I thought to myself, yeah, I can rent the spot for you. Yeah, I can rent my, you know, that my kitchen area. But you got to bring your own food, you, just like if you was renting a home. I'm not sitting there cooking for y'all. I'm going to get a party party because you're not coming in my house. Everything's going to be right there. Ain't no reason for you to move out of there. All right? And I'm not going to have all of these people around my house. It's a certain amount of, amount of people that I will allow to be coming into my yard. All right? But this is what they said, and I never thought about it. But, yeah, they wanted to use my property to do a wedding and parties. And, honey, I said, nah, I got to see how this is going to work. A wedding? I'm not having all them people all over my damn house. You know, I can see I can see if it's a small birthday party. I'm not having all of these people running around my property. I don't, I, 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 let me tell you, all money ain't good money. All right? And I'm not having people damaging my shit. No, 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 uh-uh, no. Um, I did have a party. The kids come and want to walk on my my plants. Honey, my plants are my kids, just like my animals are my kids. Don't be walking all on my plants. Your kids, you, you got to teach your kids. You don't go to people's house and walk on people's plants. What is wrong with y'all? You know? But here it shows um, making money. And I'm talking about making money. Making money. You, all right? And making money. We could do this. We could do this. You got a queen and a king here. And you can make money together. All right? It's about making that money. Get your flowers before you die. All right? Somebody wants to give you your flowers before you die. That's right. Give me my flowers. Give me my rewards. Give me everything before I die. I don't need nobody come and tell me when I die. Oh, I came to see you. No, I'm not even. What do you? What What are you crying for? What do you want to come and say bye to me? And want to bring me flowers? Why couldn't you come and see me when I was alive? Why couldn't you come by to see if I was okay? You know, I had a deep conversation with my son, and I was telling my son, you know, you need, I called you while you didn't answer the phone, but I know he be in doing him, and I know that he be busy, but. It's amazing because I have a, a, a son that, that, you know, I might say all the crazy stuff about him, but he's a family person. He He's a uh, Scorpio. He loves family. And, and, and what he loves, I don't love. But what the fuck, you know? But he's there. He calls to tell me all kinds of things, you know? But it's something else. So it's something here that you're doing that is a project and, or a new job or you been working on something, or I don't know what it is, or you working with somebody, or you got into uh, uh, opening a business with another person, that things are going to be moving on. It's, a, it's here, it's something here that the Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles is a plan to make this money. All right? Like, you put money into something, and you you ready to make to move this money. You ready to elevate yourself with this money. All right, it's like it's like Beyonce and Jay Z on the same stage. Okay, Beyonce and Jay Z, Jay Z on the same stage, sold out everywhere they go. Beyonce, Jay Z buying houses, buying properties. Okay, that's what it means. It ain't. It don't mean like Beyonce do. No, it's about my money. Give me my money. Okay, F fuck a Beyonce and Jay Z. It's like Brie and her man, Pisces. They had two babies. She said, I don't have to sing. Shit, I got my lipstick out, makeup out. You know what I mean? Like, shit. It's like two people making money. All right? Working a plan to make money. Building shit to make money. Opening business to make money. Working together to make money. New jobs, new opportunities. Sitting at the table, it's like this is the blueprints. Let's 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 build this and let's get moving on with it. All right, that's what it is, and this is the perfect time to do that. Everything is coming. It's 
being illuminated to you. That's what it's doing. It's being illuminated to you. Do you understand? You're going through this retrograde, but things is being wide open. Your eyes are being wide open. Things that happen to you that you're like, what is going on? Right? Or you see things. It's like the spirit is moving around around you. Let me tell you something. I got, I'm going to say it again. I got a Pisces here on my YouTube. Miss Lauren. This is the lady that I travel from New Jersey. Oh, I don't care. Let me tell y'all something. And it's no lie. I got many a Pisces that follow me. But Miss Lauren, she is huge to me. When I mean huge, huge. When I see Miss Lauren, I'm not lying to y'all. It's like I see Art Michael, Joan Art. I love her. And she is huge to me. Miss Lauren is so intelligent and so spiritual. Very spiritual. And she is there. And she's alive. And she is huge. Okay? She's into her religion. Into her culture. Into the oceans. And if you don't know what that is. That is huge. Alright? A lot of people talk about the oceans. Yeah, they, they talk about them. Right? But. Miss Lauren, she is huge when it comes to your oceans. It's, it's, it's pretty huge. It's like the Pope in this. And she has changed my life in many ways. And she's always there just when I need her. And she happened to call me last night and was telling me something. And it was talking about, out of nowhere, she was telling me about the, the uh, red brick dust. Right? Out of nowhere. How the hell was she knowing that I, that the Spirit was telling me for, since Sunday about the red brick dust? How would she have known that? And she was going through something in her own house. And she reached out to me and it was late at night. And the conversation that she was telling me, it was mind blowing because it was exactly where I was at, right in my house. And what I was thinking about was what she was going to in her house, but it was for me. And what she was thinking about was going in her house, and it was the same story. And it was about that red brick dust. Did y'all hear what I said? I'm going to say it again. The red brick dust. Now, everybody knows that when I'm on my altar and I show you something, it's what I use. I have not used, show you the red brick dust because I don't have it. I got to go, and I told y'all this since Sunday, right? Let me tell you something. When I get done this reading, I will be having a big thing of red brick dust. I will not, not have it on my altar. And it's telling me this. You better do it. That's what it said. And I will do it. This morning. Nothing. It's going to stand in the way of that red brick dust this morning. And I don't know, but I tell you no lie. Miss Lauren, I respect and I love her so, so much. And I don't do this for everybody. For, I don't do this for nobody on my YouTube. I love her. And she means so much to me. And she's so very spiritual. And I mean very, very spiritual. To be around her, amazing. Amazing. Is something here, Pisces, that you need to do. 
And it's telling you, you need to move forward. And your spirit is talking to you. Just like I look at her, just like you look at me. And there's no reason I will ever lie to you. I want the best for you. Whatever you're doing, whatever it is, whatever plans you got to do, you need to go do it. Move forward with it. Even if you're doing your best, even if you're doing good, even if you feel like something, I got to move from this to get here. You need to do it. Whether it's a relationship, a job, whatever it is, you got, you got money and creativity here. And I'm telling you right now, you got money and creativity here. And it's telling you that whatever it is that you need to do, move forward with the plan. Sit at the tables. And I keep saying, I got to do the blueprints. I got to get this house torn down. I have to. And that's the spirit of saying, you stop for you to move on and do it. Make it happen. Whatever it is in your life that you're going to do, you need to do it. You got a Beyonce and a Jay-Z. You got flowers here that are coming your way. And you got a plan and you need to execute it. You cannot let nobody stop you from executing your plans. And trust me, you think that you are in a place that you don't know. I guarantee you, as this retrograde move into the full moon, you are being aligned. You are, it's telling you, open up your eyes, see everything. That you need to move forward with it. It's an to what it is. It's time to move forward. Where you can feel comfortable where you're going. Where you're going to be. You can't continue to live where you're not happy. Where things is not right for you. And it's okay. Let me tell you something Pisces. It's okay to leave things and people. And it's people that I had to shut doors on. And it don't mean that I don't think about them. I do. But I know. I've done so much since I shut doors on some people that you would be surprised. It's not that I don't think about them. I just know that they're not in my plan. They can't be here. They can't get on that boat. Let me tell you, God is, is, is riding that boat. Okay? And I am one of the disciples. I am on that boat. Right? God said you can't just bring everybody and anybody on that boat. You want somebody that's going to drown us? You want somebody that's going to deceive us? No, you got to pick your right people. Right? Since I, since I removed people out of my life, my life has been so nice. I have plenty of time to do what I'm doing. I have plenty of time not to be around negativity. Putting weight on my back that ain't even mine. Bringing this spiritual welfare on me. Craziness. No, I have to stop that. And guess what? I taught you enough to take the tools to move on your own way. Okay? I taught you enough. If you, You've been watching me for a long time. Now, I gave you the tools to move on. You cannot bring the craziness to me. And make me feel like something's wrong with me. No, something is wrong with you. Okay? It doesn't work with me. I'm too big for that. And I give people chances and opportunity. But I'm not going to give you a chance and opportunity to drown me. Because you're mad. Because you don't want to hear the truth. Go screw yourself. But you ain't going to screw me. I got too many spirits here around me that would never allow you to screw me. Ever. Okay? Ever. Do you understand that, Pisces? Ever. I'm too in my spiritual. I'm not the kind of person to do rituals and then fall in love with somebody and forget that God is before all things. Some of y'all stop doing things for humans. Are you crazy? Well, not me. Not me. Like I said, if I ain't got nothing to eat and I got enough to put a candle or buy me a bag of oodles, I'm going to put my candle. I choose my spirituality over my food. God will bring whatever I need in front of me. But he asked me, who do you choose? You 
are elevating yourself. But there's certain things that you can that, that cannot be a part of you. That you need to move forward. And when you move forward, trust me, God will put that missing piece on that puzzle and make things complete for you. Do not be afraid to leave what is no good for you behind. And I don't care what it is. Stand up for yourself. Don't let people take advantage of you. Come on now. You got a lot here. You got good cards here. You ain't got no bad cards. Listen to me. A job quit by. A job quit by. A job. I'm done. I gotta go. This ain't for me. Alright? You did what you had to do. What came out with that? 666. All right? Jealous, trouble, break away. The devil trying to keep you somewhere because, you know, the devil feeds you liquor. The devil feeds you drugs. The devil feeds you sex. The devil feeds you what you like. God gives you what you need. The devil gives you what you like. Okay? That's how it goes. It's not what you want. It's what you need. The devil is what you want. God is what you need. Alright? So, some things it's time to let go. Some things it's, it's time to move on. Let it go. Because... All money ain't good money. All people ain't good people. All right? Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. I'm sorry, Pisces. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. I'm, I'm late, but I'm sorry. Late better than never. The Queen of Wands, no. With this, somebody is, you, you're going to say no to, okay? Let me tell you something, Pisces. When, you, like I said, when you move from what is no longer serving you, people, places, and things, you get the ten of cups. Okay? When you move away from what is not, and then you get your money. All right? Pisces, you got to understand. It's time for you to make this move, and you got to do it. Okay? You cannot be with somebody here. You cannot be with somebody here that wants to take from you and not be supporting you, right? Somebody wants to take from you. They don't want to support you, right? They see that you can get anything you want. But let me tell you something. When, I'm going to say it again, when you learn to leave people, places, and things, you're going to learn that your life is going to change. Happiness. You don't understand, Pisces. I'm trying to tell you. It's not what you want. It's what you need. It's what you need in your life. Okay? It's what you need, not what you want. It's what you need. All right? The effort don't stop. All right? So, it, it, somebody trying to take from you. Somebody wants to, you know, take things from you. This, this. It's something here that, and I'm going to tell you, somebody might have fired you or want you to quit or whatever it is, or you might have been in a relationship where you work for somebody, you met somebody at work, but, or whatever it is, that, that you know what I mean, it's, it's like not working for you, it's saying, I got to let go of this, it's something that I like, but it's not good for me, right? So you walk away, and you gain what you want, because God gives you what you want, God gives you what you need, you ask for it, you won't receive it. But you got to fight the urge of these people that you want that are not good for you or a job that you are in that is not good for you. All right? So when you fight this urge, you say enough is enough. I got to let you go. I don't care if I got a dollar in my name and I'm going to do away with this dollar because you are not good for me. This job ain't good for me. People ain't good for me. And I don't care what it is. I don't care if I don't have nothing in my name. I need to move forward. Right? Without all of this. Right? So then God gives you the ten of what? Of cups. What you like, being happy, everything you want. And you win. 
But then you still got somebody here that wants to glean around you and steal from you and take from you, right? But it says make the effort to leave that shit. And sometimes it's hard to stop eating sweets because it's hard for me to stop eating candy and, and drink sodas. And, and I love, when I tell you I love sweets, I love, love sweets. And let me tell you, I'm a good baker. I'm a good cook. Every day in my house, it ain't, it ain't no how people say I don't cook, it's just me. I can eat it. No, I cook every day. I make a meal. I freeze whatever I don't eat because I might have it whenever I want to. Right? But, and I also like to eat sweets. So, right now, I know I got to stop the sweet because I got to lose some of this damn weight. Right? I want to be able to fit my coats this year. And it's about that time. All right? So, I've been working hard on my coats. I mean, working hard to get this off of me. But, that's my problem. My problem ain't a person. Right? It ain't a thing. God is supportive of me. Right? The problem is, I like to eat. My habit is myself. Who I got to fight is myself. The urge is me. It's not nobody else. Right? I don't have that problem with somebody else or sleeping with somebody. Or I got to live with somebody. That is not the problem. I clear that. I got away from that. I know what is good for me and what is not. And whatever it's meant to be will be no matter what. But I fight my own urge and my own urge is eating Sweets, right? I measure what I eat. I make sure I measure. I don't go beyond, but damn, sometimes I, the way I cook, damn it, shit, man, it, it drives me nuts because I love to eat. And everybody know you come to my house, you eat like a king and a queen. But I don't know what it is with you, but whatever it is with you, you feel like you got to let go. And you find a way to letting it go, but it's, 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 it's killing you because it's like something that you like. That it's not good for you. It's not what you need. It's what you like. And the answer is no. But when you let go of this, Miss Beyonce, you got, God will give you your flowers, your ten of cups, your wins, right? You got to understand somebody here is making a plan. And the three of pinnacles on this thing is a man. It's, it's, it's like after your money. After your money. All right, and if you look at this car, it's like robbing you. It's got a gun there. Okay, it's got a plan. Look at these, these gloves on. You know, somebody look like they're ready to rob you, steal from you, take from you. All right, get away with shit. Right, not working with you, taking from you. And it says a thief around you is a man. It's a person here, a thief. Right. But with your efforts, you can move on. It says, don't stop because they're trying to do this. Move on. All right? Tell me about this job quit devil. Okay? With the seven of pentacles. All right? The star. Whatever you wish for, you're going to get. It's going to be granted to you. All right? You're going to get it. All right? So, don't be afraid to move. Don't be afraid to let go, Aquarius. Don't be afraid to let go. All right? You are a winner. What is meant for you will not pass you. Believe me when I tell you this. You got to believe me. Whatever God has for you will not pass you. And it's not what you want. It's what you need. The devil is what you want. God is what you need. All right? Tell me more about this 10, this, this 10, this winning. You know, you stepping up. You saying enough of this. I can't allow this. This 10 and this winning. This 10 and this winning. The word is no. But when you say no, you get everything you want. Okay? You get the two of swords. Making a decision here. And it's a difficult decision that you're going to say no to. But after you say no, you get the 10. You get your win. You get that family. You get your money. You get what you want. You get that job. You get whatever it is that you want. It will not pass you by. This is the most difficult decision that you got to make. But you got to do it. Don't be afraid to do it. And that's what God is telling you. Don't be afraid. You're fighting yourself. You're fighting yourself. You're not fighting the situation, because you are the solution to the situation. 
You're fighting yourself. You're fighting that demon inside of you that's telling you, but you can do it. It's like you got a demon in, but you can do it. Come with me, come with me. And God is saying, really? So you're going to let go of me for this demon? So you got two decisions to be made, right? But let me tell you something. And I'm going to continue to say this. I'd rather not have shit. I'd rather not have nothing and pick God over what I want. Knowing good and damn well, every time I pick what I wanted was nothing but bad, bad, bad. Okay? A path of nothing but destroy myself. Okay? A path of saying nothing but walking in destruction. All right? When God says, I am your provider, not just now, but forever. And I don't go to church. All right? I don't need no pastor telling me how to live my life. Let's, let's go to the pastor's house and see if her life or his life is so perfect. Let's see how they really live. Let's be a fly on the wall, TJ. TJ, the, the big old man, TJ, that you see on TV, and all of these people that you see that praise God on TV, let's go put your fly on the wall and see how powerful they are. Let's see who they really are. Your, your hair on your head will stand up. But these are the people that have these big old churches on TV so the world can see them and support them. And they can tell you what you want to hear. But let's go and see who they really are. They're not going to sit there and tell you who they really are. Right? Because they're pulling you in so that you can believe in them. Right? But let's see who they really are. Let's see what kind of artists who they are. How they are very manipulated. How they want you to believe in them. How they come on in. Oh, come on in. Have a seat. I'm going to change your life, but they can't change their own life. They can't change their kids' life, their wife's life, all the shit that's going on. I believe in one. Okay? And that's it. We all believe in the one. Wherever you got to go to believe in it, go ahead. And it's a shame because I'm going to say something to you. I'm so happy. That I live a spiritual world. That I don't need nobody to tell me about nothing. I live in the spiritual world. And God is my guidance. And he brings people. To tell me. Exactly what he just said. And saying do what I told you to do. Don't delay it. And that's why I said thank you Miss Lauren. I love you so much. So so much. All right, it's a decision here that you want, that you pray for, that you're going to get. But it's going to be the hardest decision that you're going to make. Because it's what you want against what you need. And you better pick what you need, not what you want. Sometimes people want to have these jobs, $20, $30 jobs, and they don't want to get the $9 job. Because, oh, I'm not making enough. Let me tell you, and I'm going to say something to you. I remember back then, my son's aunt worked at Wawa's back then, when Wawa's wasn't big like it is. She retired to Wawa's, all right? She retired making good money, all right? You never know, don't ever estimate that $9 because you feel like you can't grow. You never know what that $9 is going to get you, what doors is going to open up for you. All right? I've been through it. Remember I told you I worked two minimum wage jobs for five years. Didn't have food on the table, but God gave me the job that I was making bread, and then I was going to Dunkin' Donuts. All right? Even though I didn't have food to buy from the stores, at least I ate at work, and I can bring a bag of bread or whatever it is that they were offering me to bring home. All right? So you're going to have to make a choice here. All right? And some people say, oh, I can't live in a shelter. Oh, no, no, not me. Let me tell you something. I don't know where you've been at, but I've been to shelters where you have your own apartment in a shelter. All right? Yes. 
and you pay rent until you get on your own. All shelters are not the same. All right? Don't act like you're too good, like you can't live because you want to live big. You can't see yourself. You can't imagine yourself living like that. All right? You better remember how God walked on this earth. You never seen him with a roof on his head. Right? You didn't see him with that. You seen him out preaching and praying, healing, doing miracles, getting beat up, spit at, rocked. Right? Trying to save us. People be dancing and carrying their goals and their house on their back because they wanted to bring everything that was theirs. They don't want to follow God with just what they got on their back. No, you got to bring everything your own. When God says, I am your provider, I am your savior. Who are you choosing? The devil over God because the devil's going to give you everything in your life. But God gives you what you need. All right, if you go to a church and you know that church ain't right, you know the people ain't right in that church, why do you go to it? If you know the pastor is not good, why would you listen to him? You, if I'm trying to tell y'all something, some of these churches got pastors that sleep with the people that are in the church, all right, and play your ass out like a yo-yo. You hear it all the time on TVs. Everywhere. It happens. All right? It happens. All right? It ain't no, it ain't being in a safe world. This world is human. And humans are capable of doing anything and everything to you. All right? They're not, it's not like, oh, they won't do something. What? I, I rise alone. I walk alone. And the only people I deal with is y'all, my YouTubers. I don't be out here dealing with people I live around. Deal with them? No. I really don't. I'm a loner. Tell me more. All right. You got the, the, the page of source. Gossip been going on. So remember, you got somebody around you that want to steal from you, take from you. They act like they want to work with you, but there's a plan. Let me see what I'm going to do to you. Let me see what I'm going to take from you. You got this person around you that may think they're keen, that they're good for you, but they really ain't. They're planning on doing damage into you, getting away with something, all right? They want to know your moves, what you do. Oh, what you doing? I'm doing this and I'm doing this. You tell people your moves, they got they going to set your ass up. A thief, but remember with that thief, it says, don't stop. You can still move on. A lot of gossiping. Somebody's sharp with their mouth, all right? They got a plan. What is the plan? What rumors are they spreading around you? People come to see how you live so they can talk about you. All right? People want to know what you got so they can get with you. All right? Be careful. Be very careful of people. All right? And this is the path. This is something new. But you better be careful. A lot of gossip going on. All right? Um, and I, I live the street life, so I know what it means to be set up. I know what it means when somebody wants to come. You know, somebody may be taking a trip. Be careful. Be careful where you go, what you do. All right? Who you tell. Oh, I'm going on a trip. When you get back on, they done robbed your ass. All right? Because you tell them what you're doing, how you're doing it. No, 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 no. When I go on a trip, my house is fully loaded. Okay? So I don't just go on a trip. No, somebody's in my house taking care of my house. Somebody got a trap on you, following you, knowing your moves. Be careful. All right? All right? Um, be very careful. And that's all I got to say. Sometimes you got to change your lots. You don't know who got keys to your lots. All right? You got to change the codes on your, on your lots. Okay? Shit. Yes. Right? Be careful who you let in. People like, oh, she got this and that, but they just coming to see what you got. All right? They like to lay out. Oh, let me, let me make a party at y'all's. Um, I like the way you live. Uh-uh, no. Then the people you bring come to my house and see how I live. And I ain't got shit. But they think I got a lot. I ain't got nothing, honey. And when I say my, when I tell you my roof is caving, when I tell you my walls are buckling, I'm not lying to you. I'm being serious. I ain't got no reason to lie to you. I'm 
I'm not living in no palace. All right? No, I'm not. All right? Last night I had a dream that my bird Woody was eating a snake. A snake. And it was my bird and my dog fighting over this snake, trying to kill the snake. I'm not lying. And I also had a dream that somebody came in and, and um somebody had this big old thing. I mean, big thing like this. And they diluted it to kill rats. Rats. And they were spraying this shit in my basement. I don't even have a basement. They were spraying it in the basement and around. All right? And, I, and I'm telling you, a snake and a rat. And they was killing both. My bird had killed the snake. And this snake was coming out showing the teeth. And the bird was chewing that snake up. The bird mouth would open up. The snake would come out. The bird And my dog, I, I'm, listen to me. And they were spraying this, this poisonous spray. Not to kill rats. I mean, not to kill a mouse, a rat. Do you understand? Okay, so you're moving on. But remember, you need to make choices of what is no longer serving you and don't be afraid to move on. I'm telling you, I've seen this shit with my own two eyes. And if I can dream and I can tell you exactly what the dream is, there is something going on. I don't know what is going on. I don't know if people are doing drugs around you. I mean, cocaine, heroin, whatever it is, it's some real toxic drugs around you that people are doing. And you, and it's saying, it killed a rat. All right? It was a solution that somebody made to kill a rat. You better be careful. Don't leave your drinks around. Don't eat around everybody. All right? Be careful how you order and where you order and what you eating. And then the snake coming out the bird. This snake was wrapped around one of the things on my on my and this was I seen it in my bird's cage. It was it was wrapped around on one of the, you know, the um in the cage. And my bird took that snake. And when it opened up to eat it, the snake was still trying to come out with their teeth showing. And my dog was it was it if it wasn't my bird, it was my dog trying to get to it. I'm trying to tell you, be careful. Right? Be careful. Do your cleansing. Do some cleansing on yourself. Light some incense, candles, whatever it is. Put some black salt around you. Put some um, um, red brick powder around you. I'm trying to tell you. Listen, listen to me. I will not lie to you. All right? Watch who you around. Watch who you tell your business to. Watch who you sleep with. Watch who you work with. Watch who you let in your house. In your space. Be careful. It's time to move on. It's not what... What you want is what you need. What you want is the devil. What you want, what you need is God. You better make your decision. You better keep your mouth shut on moves that you're making. Do you understand? You got a plan here, but everybody's not on your plan. And everybody can't go what you go going. Be careful. Because you damn sure got something coming after you. In this full moon, in this retrograde, and it's, it's like a prime to come into the full moon. And it's a prime to be careful. Things are being illuminated to you of what's going on. Pay attention to what's around you. How things are moving. If things have been missing, play attention. This is a warning. Okay, Pisces, I love you. If you need to read and get it from me or someone else, have a blessed day and I'll see you this afternoon. Bye-bye.